How is hellfire a fair punishment? Al Maghrib presents Q and A with Suleiman Hani. Let's start with a few assumptions. And by assumptions, what do we mean? A lot of people have assumptions about things, and then they start to look for something to conform to that assumption. What's an example? People have assumptions that they know what fair is. How do you determine what is or is not fair in any situation when you're making a judgment? By this we mean we start off with the premise that there's a reference point for fairness. For example, we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Hakim, the All-Wise. And because His wisdom is perfect and complete, and that's one of our starting points in this discussion, we say, therefore, I recognize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fair beyond my comprehension, is wise beyond my comprehension, and I'm not really in a position to make claims that something is or is not fair. Otherwise, I'm making a claim that I know, and I don't have that knowledge. None of us do as human beings. Furthermore, we so, know... I just want to add to that point, right? Okay, fine, we don't have knowledge. That's why we're asking, how is it a fair punishment? Because from one perspective, we can look at it from the, past, from the fact, just logically, somebody commits shirk for 60 years and they die. So wouldn't fair and equal punishment be that they are uh, that they would be punished in the hellfire for 60 years and not in eternity? Okay, so that's a separate matter, right? So first let's talk about fairness. In one, there's one more thing we want to add to the fairness discussion, which is that we, we need the premises, the starting points. One of the starting points is, I'm not in a position to know, I'm not the all-wise. The second is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, so it's a fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَلَا يَظْلِمُ رَبُّكَ أَحَدًا Allah will never treat any of His creation with anything unfair, any kind of injustice. So we recognize, okay, I have starting points, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Hakim, He is Al-Rahim, He is the most loving, He is the most merciful, He's also just, but He'll never treat His creation with any kind of unfairness. That's one fact. So, it, so, so the foundational aspect of understanding fairness is looking at and understanding who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. Who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and okay. also challenging our assumptions. A lot of people make claims or think certain things and they don't realize that they are utilizing or using assumptions and they don't know where these assumptions came from. There is this idea some people have that they should know what's fair, one for one. Somebody did this, they should get that. How do you know that? So let's challenge our assumptions and also have a little more intellectual humility when we approach these topics that I simply do not know. However, I might feel a certain way. Let me start off with the facts because we say, you know, you said logical. We say, l let's look at the concept of the hellfire and admit in the end, I don't know what's a fair punishment in the next life. And any two people might say, I think it should be this or that. Ultimately, we leave that to Al-Hakim. And we know that it's not going to be unfair because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the starting points. And then after that, if we have feelings or interpretations that are not based on these facts, on these premises, then we know that the feeling or the interpretation is misapplied. It's wrong. It's based on a false assumption of what is or is not fair. I mean, then, in the context of hellfire, uh, and hereafter, and paradise. Uh, is there a difference between fair and justice? So when we talk about fair, and specifically when we talk about hellfire, we're usually referring to the fact that it is fair. That it is fair in terms of the punishment and the crime. Who determines that? What's the reference point? It has to go back to the one who knows, and it's not us as human beings. In fact, even in our legal systems here in, in, in all around the world, we don't really always agree on what we think is or is not a fair punishment. Even amongst a family, the mother or the father might want to discipline their children in a different way and say, this is fair or this is not fair. And the child might say, you grounded me for a week, that's not fair. So going back to the discussion on the hellfire, who determines what is or is not fair? Right? How bad is a crime? For example, some people see uh, the, the act of uh, killing an innocent person, which could take just half a minute or a few seconds. They see it as fair that the consequence, the punishment for that is not a half of a minute of a consequence. It's something that may be 30 years, life in prison, dep depending on the country. So who determines what is a fair punishment for a crime? And if we don't approach this with humility, if we have any amount of pride or arrogance thinking that we are in a position to know and to make uh, conclusive statements that I am so certain that I am a judge of what is or is not fair, then we've exceeded a line that we really, we really have to reconsider. We submit our limitations to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We start off with the basic beliefs that I know who Allah actually is. 
If you form the wrong idea of Allah in your mind based on assumptions or wrong beliefs, you're going to lead yourself to the wrong conclusions. As for how long in the hellfire and the question of whether or not the hellfire is eternal, uh, even in accordance with the scholars who say, and they are a minority, but they say that the hellfire is not eternal. Even in accordance with that view, someone might still challenge you and ask, well, how is the hellfire fair even for a day, even for a year when you say it's 70 times hotter than the fire of this world? And again, I recognize my limitation and we recognize our limitations as human beings, humbly so. And we leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who promises us that there's not going to be any unfairness, any injustice to His creation. Nobody will be given a compensation on the Day of Judgment that's unfair. In fact, for those who are righteous, not only is it uh, a matter of justice that they're given some kind of rights that are restored, but also it's the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they're getting so much more than that. So good deeds are multiplied, whereas the sin is only punished for the sin. It's only recorded as one. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best.